Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Um, this week's still water pattern is going to be the profile booby. So in the vise, I have a Hanak 280 barbless hook. It's at size 10. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas. This is the 8 and it's black. First thing to do then is a little bit of wax onto our thread. And I'm going to catch on a layer of thread starting about a couple of millimetres back for the eye. And I'm going to come all the way down. Doesn't need to be particularly tidy. To the point of the hook on this one. And I'm going to take away my rat's tail. So I'm going to have a butt on this fly, a shiny butt. And I'm going to use some of this stuff. It's the Patini Tinsel, it's pattern dash 80, it's a hen's product, if you're interested. It's quite a subtle red, so not quite as bright and flashy as the holographic red, but still enough to give a touch of colour to the butt section. So I've got a little bit here, and I'm going to catch that on like so and I'm going to bring my thread over it about an eighth of an inch one more turn then I'm going to come back and I'm going to build my little butt section here so just bear with me the material is not particularly robust like the uh, holographic tinsel it, it's quite a delicate material and you've got to be careful with it that you don't stretch out of shape but it does give a very um, subtle effect and I really like it so I'm just going back over it again I don't want to have any black showing at this butt section and I've caught that in bring it up and then I can secure it with my thread. I'll just go back on myself. And once that's in place, you can just snap that away. Now, as I said, it's quite delicate. But not only that, I want to add a little bit of UV to the butt section. Not much. Just enough as to protect the ends. And it also adds, it changes the, the colour of the material a little. But it, it does give quite a nice effect. And, and, you know, these sort of things you can experiment with yourself. But I quite like the effect it gives the, the fly. So I'm just going to cure that off. Here we go. And I'm going to quickly bring my thread to the front end. Now I'm not going to come right to the front. I'm about an eighth of an inch back from the eye. And I'm going to add my rib now, which uh, is the UTC copper wire. This is the small. So I'm going to start just there and then catch that in all the way back to where I want my body to start and the dubbed bobby bobby body I'm going to use today is this American goat dubbing now it's very similar to seals fur uh, I haven't got any good black seals fur and I couldn't find any that would just right for this so I'm using this very similar you can see it's a sort of sparse spiky type of dubbing so I'm going to just get that onto my thread. You don't need much of it. And then I can bring that up my fly. Like so. Pulling all the loose strands back. 
from the front. Then the opposite way to the dobbin, I'm going to bring my rib. I'm getting four good tons of wire in there and the last one I'm going to finish up on. Keeping tension on my thread, I can then twist my wire away and tidy that up at the front a bit. Now I want the body bushy, so I'm just going to come in with my dubbing brush and ease out some of the fibres. from a dubbing. Happy with that. Now the profile booby, it's a great fly for the back end of September. It really works well this time of year. So that's why I'm sharing with you at this point. I'm going to turn my vise upside down and lock it off. So the profile booby has some legs and I'm going to use uh, some pre-tied knotted legs and I'm just going to take a small clump off, uh, four or five, six is better, but I'm just going to use four today. Now if you haven't got a vise that inverts like this, you've just got to mess about with it uh, the other way, but it's much easier if you can invert your vise in this manner. So get it on under the fly. We're tying for the fish, not for tires, so I like to get the legs. where they should be underneath the fly and I'm going to move my waist to the rear now get a couple of turns in then I can come in with my scissors and snip away my waist so if I just loosen my vice up now bring it back round the proper way now I've got my legs in the right position I can tidy this all up at the front And what I'm going to do next is put a marabou wing in. Now I'm just using some uh, Nature Spirits marabou. I'll not show you the packet because I've thrown it away. This is my last piece of black marabou. So I'm going to use my thumb and forefinger to strip off a small section of marabou. Now I want to try and get the, the spiky ends as much as possible. So I'm going to discard this part of the feather here. I'm just going to lick the end, makes it easier to work with. Then I'm going to catch in my marabou. Make sure you get a good hold of it. And then once you've got it in place, you can use your thumb and forefinger to your right hand to secure it. Come in with your left and just remove the spare bit of tailing. Now I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger in my left hand and just ease all the loose strands and the marabou back out the way. Because what I'm going to do next is add my booby eyes. Now uh, in the Insta bar you'll see an information thing that shows you how I make my booby eyes. Um, I think the original pattern which came from Masterline ACA back in the day as I recall. I think it was maybe Rob Edmonds that came up with this or or one of them guys certainly but they used an orange booby eye. I'm going to use black today and as I said if you have a look at the uh, information bar you'll see how I create the booby eyes. Just adding a little bit of wax to my thread and I'm going to catch it round one turn of my thread then I can spin up my booby eyes just going to catch it in with one two turns that way a couple of turns the other way so I've got them I've got them fixed in the uh, in into position 
Before I do anything else, I'm going to add some super glue. To my thread. And then wind up two, three. And I'm coming down through the center of the eye. And then I'm going to finish at the front with a half hitch. Just take that away now. And I'm going to use my dubbing needle just to add a little bit of super glue to the front of the fly, just to keep it all nice and tight. Don't want it all coming undone after all your hard work. And there you have the profile booby. Now, you know, you can mess about with this orange eyes red eyes ginger body you know it's it's up to you really the the options are um are there for you but the black one with a little red butt has worked really well for me over the years um so i don't see why there'd be any reason to change the formula thanks very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time that's how to do it